Hey everybody, happy Thursday. Hope your week is going well. Um, you know, last week we, as a county, we went red, which triggered some protocols uh, with that we had decided when it came to COVID. And so um, we got together as a leadership and as, a, as elders and staff, and we just kind of talked through that protocol and what our response was and whether we were going to continue to use that or whether we've learned some things and we may, needed to make some different um, decisions. So um, the first is that we're still gonna mask, we're still gonna be keeping a six feet distance, still asking everyone to wash their hands, use hand sanitizer. Um, and if you're not feeling well, if you feel like you have a fever or whatever, that you would just stay home as to um, just help keep everybody else safe. We're, those things are just always going to be a given for us during this time. Um, but the first thing is, is that we're still gonna have a 1030 service this week. Uh, we may go back to two in the weeks to come, uh, but right now we, we we just know that there's probably going to be less people showing up because of our uh, the health advisory, and so we're going to just stay at one. And if it grows, we'll be back at two, and we'll make sure that you know that ahead of time. But we're going to be one service, 10:30. Uh, the other good news is that we're going to have student and children's ministry uh, back during the 10:30 service again, distanced, masked, etc. Uh, but we will be have bringing those things back this week, this Sunday. Um, also. For things that were in the building, the old protocol would have said we weren't doing any of that. What we're asking is that everyone just follow the guidelines, follow the masking, the six feet, uh, the sanitation, all of those things, and the things that were continuing in the building can continue. Um, and then uh, the other thing is for small groups. Small groups, we're just asking you to be safe, be smart. Um, yeah, just do that. Be safe and be smart, and it's at your discretion as to uh, whether you guys meet or not. And last but not least, um, on Wednesday nights, uh, Wednesday Night Live, Kids Disciple will be back, but they won't be back till, de till December 2nd. And that's not because of red, it's not because of COVID, it's because one, we normally take off the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. So uh, that just puts us at December 2nd because we missed it last night. So good news. Make sure you tell some people, uh, just share this video. That will be helpful that we're trying to get the word out um, as to what's going on. Uh, last but not least, another announcement. You can see behind me, there's some Christmas trees and some lights and uh, we got the the giving tree farm set up over here it looks really cool can't wait for you to see that on sunday morning and uh, you might have heard that we did the the virtual giving tree on facebook it was a crazy event lots of tags left but guess what we got more tags and uh, we would love for you to come and get those and help serve our community help love on some folks by getting them great christmas gifts this year and so Please, in person, Sunday, we're going to have the, the Giving Tree Farm, as we're calling it, uh, set up. Only thing they ask is just make sure you see one of the people who are helping out, one of the people who are volunteering, so that they can record your tag and that they can um, get you set up and just know which gift that you have uh, taken. So with that, guys, I hope you have a great, blessed weekend. We look forward to seeing you at 1030 uh, in person in the building um, or on Facebook uh, here on Facebook at, well, there on Facebook, wherever you're watching this on Facebook at 1030 as we stream the service there as well. Have a blessed weekend and we will see you later.